we'll now go over how to treat hypovolemic shock. Hypovolemic shock is caused by a sudden decrease in the amount of fluid circulated in the casualty's blood circulatory system. This is usually caused by severe bleeding, but it can also be caused by severe burns, second and third degree burns on 20% more of the body surface, vomiting, excessive diarrhea, and or sweating. Hypovolemic shock can result in the casualty's death. Hypovolemic shock can also result from blood loss due to internal bleeding. You will not be able to treat internal bleeding. This condition requires rapid evacuation. Here are some signs and symptoms of shock. Sweaty but cool clammy skin, pale skin color, and or blotchy or bluish skin around the mouth, nausea, anxiety, decrease in the casualty's level of consciousness, rapid breathing, unusual thirst. Do not wait for signs and symptoms of shock to occur. The same measures used to treat shock can be applied to help prevent shock from occurring. First, loosen any binding clothing, including boots. Tight clothing can interfere with blood circulation. If the casualty is conscious, place him in a shock position on his back with his feet elevated slightly above the level of his heart. This will help his blood circulation. An unconscious casualty should be placed in the recovery position. If the casualty vomits, quickly perform a finger sweep to clear his airway. A casualty with a suspected spinal fracture or serious head wound should be on his back. Feet not elevated. Immobilize his head, neck, and back if possible. A casualty with an open abdominal wound should be positioned on his back with his knees flexed to reduce stress to the abdomen and reduce the pain. A casualty with an open abdominal wound should be positioned with his back and knees flexed to reduce stress to the abdomen and reduce pain. A casualty with an open chest wound should be sitting up with his back to a wall, tree, or other support in the recovery position with his injured side to the ground. A casualty with a minor head wound should be sitting up with his back supported in the recovery position with his wounded side up. Place a poncho or blanket under the casualty to protect him from temperature and dampness of the ground. Take measures to keep the casualty from overheating or chilling. In warm weather, keep the casualty in the shade. If natural shade is not available, erect an improvised shade using a poncho and sticks or other available materials. Reassure the casualty and keep the casualty calm. Tell the casualty that you are helping him. Be confident in your ability to help the casualty and have a take charge attitude. Your words and actions can do much to reassure the casualty and reduce his anxiety. Be careful of any comments you may make regarding the casualty's condition. Send someone to obtain medical help.